What's going on world? My name is Bobby Jones and welcome to Overseas Grind, Overseas Glory. Uh, I know some of y'all are wondering what is OG OG, that's what I like to call it. Well, first I guess I have to give you a background of myself before I go any further. I was born and raised in Compton, California. I went to Dominguez High School my first three years and I transferred to Long Beach Poly for my senior year. I was a four-year starter at the University of Washington and also got my degree in writing. I was drafted by the Minnesota Timberwolves in the 2016 NBA draft, but my rights were quickly traded to Philadelphia as I spent my rookie year there and my second year with the Denver Nuggets. After the NBA, I went overseas to Italy, and this is where I've been playing for the last 10 years. Italy is my second home, and in the process, built a nice basketball career and a strong fan base. I created Overseas Grind, Overseas Glory because I wanted to make a platform where I gave updates on my season. I haven't did it in about two years, but that's going to change. I got a new camera and I also learned how to edit. So starting next season, I will be putting out a lot more content. Here's a recap of my season here in Italy for the 2018-2019 season. What made it so memorable was that it wasn't even supposed to happen. For the first time in my professional career, I went unsigned. And it was looking like my basketball career was over. How did that make you feel? It made me feel like Alonzo in the movie Training Day. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. All right. After playing in the same country for nine seasons, I felt disrespected. I'm gonna let y'all know stop putting some respect on my name. I don't think teams and coaches really appreciate my defensibility, intangibles, and knowledge of the game. Did you lose a step? Watch this clip. And this one. And this one. In the basketball world, a 35-year-old basketball player is considered old. But I'm not your typical 35-year-old. The way I play doesn't require me to run the fastest or jump the highest. I just have to play smart, with energy, and heart. Staying healthy is also important, but it has never been a problem for me in my career. In my 10 seasons in Italy, I've missed no more than 15 games. And in the last two seasons, I haven't missed any. There's a reason. Even with that, since I didn't make the playoffs my last three years, teams, chose to look at that instead of my individual qualities. So how did you end up in Rieti? Maybe it was luck, destiny, or both. One week prior to the season beginning, Rieti made an offer, and I was headed to Italy for chapter 10, but this time with a huge chip on my shoulder. Rieti is a small town located an hour away from Rome. Geographically, many consider it the center of Italy, surrounded by mountains, with a river that runs through it. Life is simple, easy living, and this fit me well at this point in my life. So, this is where I play, here in Rieti, Italy. It doesn't look like much, but it can get crazy and loud real fast. Rieti has one of the lowest budgets in the league. This means they're only able to sign young Italian-American players or much older Italian players. Throw in an unproven head coach in his second season, and you can see why nobody expected this team to win anything. I still needed three to four weeks to get in shape. And so for the first month of the season, we lost a lot. But we all know the same, Rome wasn't built in a day. I've been on a lot of teams. And what I realized early with this one was that players were hungry, willing to follow my lead, and play basketball my style. I knew we were going to shock a lot of people. I also had to improve on being more of a vocal leader, being patient with coaches, and mentoring the younger players. Every team has to deal with injuries at some point during the season. But our team definitely had a lot of bad luck. Going into the second month of the season, our starting point guard, J.J. Frazier, received a season injury ankle injury that required surgery. Next, we signed veteran point guard, Ogo Adeboye, and for the next five months, played our best basketball of the season. We slowly climbed all the way to second place with a chance to win the league. Every season, my daughter Leah comes to visit me during her Easter break from school. It's always amazing when she gets to come visit me and she got to watch her dad doing what he loves best. We also had a chance to make some more Are We There Yet Dad episodes, so be on the lookout this summer. 
And make sure you check out some of our other episodes that we already posted on my YouTube channel. Besides playing basketball, the other perks of being overseas for nine months is that I get to work on my various writing projects. I also get to travel, go around recruiting people to become Kansas City Chiefs fans, and visit local schools to inspire kids and share my unique story. More bad luck came our way. Ogle received a season-ending knee injury that required surgery, and our starting center, Angelo Gigli, had to shut down for the remainder of the season. We signed rookie point guard Antino Jackson and Italian big man Giovanni Videra. Even though we stumbled a bit, we still managed to make the playoffs, which the team hasn't done in 12 seasons. We advanced out of the first round, but lost in the second round to a strong Chivizo team. Overall, we had a great season, but everything must come to an end. So what did you learn from this season? Sometimes you have to go backwards just to go forwards in life. If you're an American and your team is not winning, they don't care if your coach was bad or if your teammates were selfish or if you got injured. You're in their country. There's plenty of Americans to choose from. Teams will see what they want to see and look for negatives before positives. I'm living proof. Stay humble and appreciative for every job opportunity no matter how big or small, because somebody didn't get one. Stay true to yourself and control your own narrative. I want to thank all my teammates, Aleska, Angelo, Gio, Joe, Marcos, Simone, Fede, Coti, Toscano, JJ, Ogo, and Tino. I'm very proud of my teammates and hope they learn from me that when you play hard, anything is possible. Thank you to the coaching training staff. Special thanks to the fans for bringing the energy every home game. Regarding Boza Bobby, Sele Nikiada. All right, what about this one? Does this really look like it? It's the thought that counts, though. Oh, Bobby Jones to Bobby from Irene. From my favorite guy. Hi, Bobby. I'm Mateo. I'm nine years old. You are the best. Got me a little chubby, but. It's all good. So what about next season? No loss so I don't know. Once I'm back in the States, I'll figure that out. In the meantime, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. And be on the lookout for more videos this summer too. And last thing, put some respect on my name, Italy. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. Oh, I want you to put it out. Put some respect on it. Listen. When you say my name, put some respect on it. I ain't playing with oh, y'all, put some respect on it. And I ain't gonna say it, and I ain't gonna say it no more. Listen, now I could have pulled up, put some respect on it. But that ain't gangsta, put some respect on it.